Next one, David from upstate New York. I recently watched a side channel show with Hakeem. What? And I fell asleep. It was really boring. <laughs> that was weird. Why would you write that, David? I'm the guy who wakes everyone up. No, you're the best, man. You're the best. Uh, I recently watched a side channel with, with Hakeem. It was about gravitational waves. Mm. Just wondering, can they also alter time? If a huge collision occurred near our solar system, how would we feel them? Would we Ooh. be alive to physically notice? So, so will it do damage, first of all? Yeah. And we know it's a disturbance in the gravitational field, and everybody knows after the movie Interstellar right. that if you're in a different gravitational field, you're right. going to age differently. Yeah. So yeah. What, what, what kind of well, consequences? That's a good question. Like, like the perturbations of time travel... Uh, this is a good time to bring up the Andromeda Paradox. Okay. That's right. You know, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I was not. What, 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 what is the Andromeda Paradox? Well, the Andromeda Paradox is the fact that if you and I are looking at Andromeda. Andromeda, the galaxy. The galaxy. Mm -hmm. the, not the, the stars M31 that make the constellation. Right. Yeah, not the okay. constellation. And not right. the strain that killed millions of people. The, Two, not the Andromeda movie. strain, right? Two and a half million light years away. Then what happens is, suppose you're sitting in your chair and I'm running by. And at the second I run by you, we both look up at Andromeda. Because I'm moving and you're stationary, we're going to see events that are days apart, even though we're in the same location looking at the same time. How can that and be? you think that relativity, and you think that the we'll just light. Just say relativity arriving. and keep talking. How far? Know, right? Wait, in this scenario, how far away from me are you when you're running by? You're in the same place. We're in the same place, essentially. So I've you're never, like literally I've running. I've never here. heard of this paradox. And yeah, you look right, up. It's a little known paradox. And the right? thing yeah. that you see and I see are days apart. Days apart. Because of our physical perspective? On be, well, that? here's what you would think. You would think the light is arriving right now. We should all be receiving this light. But that's not how it works. Motion changes the perception of time. And so we know about that in terms of the local universe. We call it relativity of simultaneity, right? You're moving, I'm not. You see events as simultaneous. I see them as happening one before the other, right? But then when you add the distance component in it, now we see very different times. So there could be a third person moving in the other direction seeing a different time. So how do you define what now is? So we even don't though you're in the same time. place. Even though you're in the same place, yeah. While we're sitting here, I'm here, you're running by, yeah. we look up at the drama at the same time, yep. and we're seeing location. something from the same days, location, from the yep. same location yep. essentially, we're seeing things days apart. Days apart. That leads to the idea of what is now, and your now and my now are two different There's nows. no now. There is no now. No, now there is, is now. There's no, always now. There's an there illusion of now, because we're so close together and we're so small, the speed of light makes it feel like we have a now. Right, but now doesn't really exist on larger scales. There's no such thing. But but there is always has to be a now in all seriousness. No, no, that is your bias. That is your bias. That's so that's so Galilean. But that's a, but that's a, <laughs> that's so backwards. <laughs> right. Wow. Get, get, get I've never got assist. I've never gotten heckled from the left and the right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at the same that's time. Right. That's right. All right. So wait. So so what is the upshot of this? Uh, well, what was the question again? Because um, they're talking about time, right? And they're talking about now or something. And I'm just like, that now what was it? Exists. It was about gravitational waves. Wondering, can they also alter time? If a huge collision occurred near our so near our solar system, how would we feel them? Would mm -hmm. we be alive yeah. to physically notice? Yeah. Right. You curve space. Space and you stretch time, right? It's kind of the idea like what a black hole does, right? Mm -hmm. You curve space, you, you know, time moves more slowly relatively. But these phenomena of gravitational waves are incredibly subtle. And so the real calculation to do is what type of gravitational wave would be necessary? It's like the big order for that to happen. For that to happen. To be to be, be to be felt. To be felt, right? Or to be you Yeah, know. because the one that the first one that was measured, it jiggled the experiment by one twentieth the diameter of a proton. There you go. You ain't feeling that. You ain't feeling that. But we know they were gravitational waves. Well, yeah, we measure them, right? right? So, you know, you you, you want to think of what event, what, what magnitude of wave do you need, intensity, and then calculate what sort of event. But there are a whole, and that event would surely that. kill you before you had any right. experience of the wave. I was going to say, but, <laughs> yeah, exactly. but there are a whole host of, it's an infinite number of things that could cause a gravitational wave, right? I mean, but actually, well, wait, wait, the gravitational wave moves at the speed of light, so yeah. it can't kill you before the wave hits you. That would all happen at the same time. Oh, that's a good thing. You add those things. Oh, right? well, that's the upside. So, so you yeah, don't even yeah. know. You don't even yeah, know. Don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. So you get compressed to nothingness. You get ripped apart. This is like a sci-fi thing, right? The gravitational wave -inator. <laughs> <laughs>